It is Brighton 1, Manchester United. Neil, Manchester United losing to Brighton, Munich, Brighton and them man there, Brighton at the beach. Oh, Manchester United. And I, I just knew it, guys. I knew it. Just like the game against Newcastle where Manchester United went to play Newcastle after beating them in the Carabao Cup. Wembley, I knew Newcastle would take revenge. Now Manchester United knock out Brighton in the semi-finals of the FA Cup at Wembley. It's their time to take their revenge. And they took that really well. Manchester United, to me, today I watch Brighton versus Brighton. I watch Brighton have the ball up all the time, going at Mets all the time. Brighton, which they truly deserved it, got their three points by a last-minute penalty VAR. Luke Shaw, Luke bloody Shaw couldn't control himself, guys. Luke Shaw had his hands up there and it was silly and stupid. And when it got to David De Gea, you just know, ah, this is a goal. He ain't gonna save this. The guy can't save up the penny. Save his life or save his woman or save his child, bro. Let's be real. We just knew it's one new as soon as it was a penalty. Well, Manchester United, it was just, the, you know what annoyed me the most? It was on the 96th minute, or 95th minute, when the referee supposed to blow full time, the last bit of action, but no. Gosh, man, I I, I, I am annoyed to, to lose that game in lastminute.com by a VAR decision, but I expected this loss, Manchester United fans. I expected this. I said to myself, we won't win. First half, let's talk about the game because the first 45 minutes, it was a 50-50 half for Manchester United in terms of in the game. When Manchester United had opportunities as well, Anthony himself had two or three opportunities at goal. Brighton and then man there did their thing as well in the, in the first 45 minutes, but just couldn't find anything. You know what? They were finishing really poorly, you know. And Manchester United as well was finishing poorly as well, man. And I just was too frustrated. To be fair, guys, we don't have a striker. You ain't gonna tell me Marshall's playing up front and we've got way goals, but we don't have a striker. Marshall up front, we're playing with 10 men. We are playing with 10 men. Way goals as well, we are playing with 10 men. We don't have a striker. We've got a plus nine goal difference. And yeah, it's just been poor, man. Uh, the second half as well, because it was nil nil at half time, I was thinking, let's get this goal. But it was never coming. Second half, Manchester United. It was Brighton. Versus Brighton again in the second half. Brighton dominating possession all the way through. Manchester United looking poor. Couldn't do anything. But defensively solid. Brighton couldn't break us. But of course, last minute dot com. Penalty. Luke Shaw's hand. And it was against McAllister, the World Cup winner. Versus David, the useless De Gea in goal, bro. Then in, in penalties as well. David De Gea, the useless in penalties. Couldn't save it. And we knew. Oh, yeah, David De Gea, penalty, one-on-one, -on -one. yeah, this is a goal, and it was a goal, McAllister winning it, vamos, 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 my ass, all that kind of stuff, won the game, and it ended up full-time, 1-0, Brian, Manchester United fan is what it is, don't kill the match, and man of the match, you guys let me know, because this has been your match, your match reaction from your boy, I've always spice, this has been a dead game as well, we lost, it is what it is, Manchester United fan, we'll try and beat West Ham, who are having a relegation battle, which will be a tough one. Anyway, guys, as always, remember to keep it united. Remember to keep it red united. And subscribe, smash that like button, share, and press that notification bell. I'm out. Peace out. Bloop. Out.